is Mark Bell from Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West. And I'm here today to share with you a product that I invented called the Slingshot. Being a competitive power lifter, uh, tore my pack several times, and uh, bench press is a big part of what we do, and I decided I need to figure out a way to work around and through these injuries, and the Slingshot became the answer. The Slingshot is a pr protective upper body device that can be utilized for bench press and push-ups. You're going to be able to handle more weight, you're going to be able to do more reps, more sets. You're just going to be able to handle more in your training sessions. How do you wear it is a frequently asked question, so we're going to go over that right now. You slide your arms through here, and if you are a power lifter, or you're short, stocky, and or fat, or a combination thereof, you're going to want to wear it a little bit low. If you're not jacked and tan, then you want to pull it up a little higher and have the elbow almost out of the slingshot. And it slides up over the other arm like this and now you're ready to go. So it's just a couple easy steps to slide into the slingshot. It's going to help save your shoulders and help alleviate a lot of pain while you're training and you're going to be able to train like a savage without getting hurt. I get a lot of questions uh, in regards to you know what's the slingshot going to do for me. Eric Spoto came to me about a year and a half ago and he did a 635 pound bench press. He now has the biggest bench press of all time 722 pounds done in just a t-shirt and he utilized the slingshot to help get him there. Whether you're a geared lifter or a raw lifter or just your average guy going to the gym to uh, do a bench check, the slingshot is going to help you either way. Normally if somebody can do 300 pounds uh, raw, when they put the slingshot on, they're going to be able to handle that same 300 pounds for three to five repetitions. You start to think about the volume that starts to add up over time. Uh, it's also a method that we refer to as the future method. You're going to be able to handle those types of weights in the future without using the slingshot. One of the many benefits of the slingshot is that it helps improve your form. A lot of lifters lift with their elbows coming outward like this. When you're lifting with your elbows out like this and doing bench press, there's a lot of guys who develop a lot of strength and a lot of power that way, but you're too exposed to really bench uh, to your absolute maximum. And the slingshot's gonna help to pull your elbows in closer, tighter to your body, so you're not exposed, you're not up here, you're not putting all that stress on your shoulder. So along with uh, being able to handle more weight, more reps, and more sets, you're also improving your form with each and every repetition that you do. So now instead of trying to bench press out here, the slingshot will not allow you to bench press out here. You won't be able to do a full range of motion that way. You're going to be down in here more. The elbows are going to be in alignment with your wrist and in alignment with the barbell, just as they should be. I'm here with my boy, Silent Mike. Silent Mike is going to demo uh, a push-up for us. Uh, again, the slingshot is really easy to put on. It's really easy to use. You simply just slide it up your arms. There are several different sizes, so you want to make sure you get the correct size. There's a sizing chart at howmuchyoubench.net. Make sure you examine that before you purchase one so you get one that fits you properly. At first, you might bust out five to ten push-ups. And you might say to yourself, man, I'm not really feeling anything. Feels like I'm bouncing off a trampoline. But you start to get to 15, 20, 25, 30 push-ups. I myself have done 80 push-ups in the slingshot. You will be exhausted. You will feel the work in your arms and in your chest. Some people will say, oh, well, you know, don't you think this is a form of cheating? This is just training. We are after a training stimulus. Whenever we're working out, we're always trying to get the most optimal training stimulus possible. And in this situation, we're going to be able to do more reps. We're going to be able to do them faster. We're going to be able to perform more sets and be able to do more overall work with getting less sore and with avoiding injury. What people don't realize about a push-up is that it's not just your arms that need to be strong, it's your entire core that needs to be strong. If your core is collapsing when you go to do a push-up, you're not going to be able to express the strength through your arms that's necessary uh, to perform a proper push-up. With the slingshot on, it's going to help support your body just enough that you're going to be able to do the push-ups and uh, do them in the correct range of motion and do them correctly so you don't get hurt. And again, you're going to be able to handle more reps and more sets and by doing that, in the long run, you're going to be able to handle more reps and more sets without the slingshot as well. When I first developed the slingshot, I quickly realized that I needed to develop an entire slingshot line. So I, just, I started to develop uh, some different strengths. 
Uh, this one here, the original slingshot, I would say is a level two in terms of strength. The slingshot that he's wearing, the blue slingshot, the reactive slingshot, I would say is a level one in terms of its resistance. The reactive slingshot is really popular in the CrossFit community where they're asked to do a lot of different things with their body weight. And the black one here, which is the big dogger named after my oldest brother, Mad Dog. This is the Mad Dog slingshot. It's a multi-layered slingshot. This one will allow you to handle the most amount of weight and is really more for advanced lifters. The slingshot is going to allow you to overload by 110%. Pick up your slingshot at howmuchyoubench.net and strength is never a weakness.